Welcome to Flo's Crafty Crochet. Today we're going to be looking at how to make a daffodil. This daffodil forms part of my spring wreath. Uh, the pattern is available to download separately. Um, so we're going to have a wee go at this. So what you need is a 3.5mm hook, a tapestry needle and you need some scrap double knit yarn in yellow and orange. Okay, so we're going to begin. The first thing you need to do is you need to do a slip knot. So you hold it with your thumb, wrap around and pull through. And then you just pop that on the end of your hook. Okay, now you're going to chain four. So wrap the yarn over, pull through, and we're going to do that four times. Two, three, four. Now that we've that done, we're going to make a ring. So where the first knot is, you're just going to lift that and put it onto the end of your hook, like so. You're going to wrap the yarn over your hook and you're going to pull through everything that's on it to create that little centre hole. Okay, chain one. Then working into that hole, we're going to do six double crochets. A double crochet is done by putting your hook into the hole, pulling the yarn through, putting the yarn over, taking off two. You're going to repeat that for a total of six double crochets. So into the hole, pull through, yarn over, take off two, and again, that's three, four, five, six. Okay, normally at this point at an NA project, I would ask you to tighten this hole by pulling this short piece of yarn. But for the minute, because the, the next round of stitches is quite hard to work in, I want you just to leave it alone, just for now. So this next round is round two, and we're only going to be working in the front loops of each of the stitches. So if you can see, there is the normal way I would be putting our hook in, oh, in through both of those loops. This time I'm only looking to put my hook in through the front loop only, which is just here. So just there. And the same in the next stitch, the front loop only is just this first loop. And the same in the next, just that first loop. So in each one of those first loops, I want you to place two double crochets. So this is an increase round. So picking up that first loop, put the yarn over, pull through, yarn over, take off two. And do the same again into the same stitch. So now you have two in that one stitch. Moving on to the next front loop, one, two, again into the next one, one, two, and so on, the whole way around, just working into that front loop. Just into the front loops, just try not to pick up the back loop. The reason we need to do that is, when we go to attach our petals for the petal round, those loops are the loops that we'll actually be working into. So there's another one, I'll put two in. And one more. Feel free to pause this video if you need to, in order to catch up to have all 12 done. For this round, now what we're going to do is we're going to place a double crochet in each round for three rows. So you're going to have 12 in each time. There are a number of ways to do this. You can use a stitch marker, you can have it at the very start and go round and then each time you move on to your next row just take it out and move it up. Or you can count 12 each time around or you can count 36. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the stitch marker method. So I'm going to do my first double crochet into that first stitch and then I'm going to put my stitch marker on. I'm going to put it on in there. So I'm going to go now and we're going to go a right round until we come to the stitch marker again. So two, three, and again feel free if you need to pause this video. There's my twelfth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stitch marker out and I'm going to go 12 again. So round 4 is just double crocheting in each one again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, the daffodil will start to cup in on itself and let it, it's okay. And that's row four complete. So when we have that done, and you can pause it there if you need to, to catch up, we'll be working on to row five. And row five is again, just going round in another complete row. So just starting off and going round, double crochet in each. So one, So what will start to form is like a little bell shape and that's what you want. So I have my 12 done now. I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch and I'm just going to snip my yarn. I'm going to pull it through and then I'm going to put my hook in through the very base uh, where we just began and I'm going to pull it out that side as well. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that shorter end to try and tighten it a little and we're just going to work those two ends together. So what I'm going to do is just go in there, anywhere at all, grab your two ends, pull through, yarn over, pull them through, keep them out of the way and just snip them off. Okay, so what you have ended up with is something that looks a little bit like a bell. So this sort of shape. Now this is the wrong side of the crochet and the right side is actually in the inside. But for this project that's okay, that's what we want. Okay, so now with your yellow yarn I want you to take some and create a slip knot. Those stitches that we only worked the front loop of, they're now at the back. So if you can see there's like a ridge the whole way around the back. So that is now what we are going to be working into. So pick any one of those, put your hook underneath, pull your loop through and we're going to immediately chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the second chain from the hook, which is not this one, but the next one, we're going to put a double crochet. So just put your hook straight in, pull the yarn through, take off both. In the next one, you're going to place two half trebles. So put the yarn over, go into the hole, pull the yarn through, take the yarn over, take off everything. And repeat that one more time. So put the yarn over, into the hole, pull the yarn through, you have three loops on, put the yarn over, take off all three loops. In the next stitch we're going to place a treble, so yarn over, into the hole, pull the yarn through, put the yarn over, take off two, put the yarn over, take off two. The next stitch is going to be a double treble. For a double treble you need to wrap the yarn around twice before you put it into the hole. Put it into the hole, pull through, yarn over, take off two, yarn over, take off two, yarn over, take off two. The next stitch you're going to put a double crochet <laughs> and then the last stitch you're going to put in a half treble. You have to excuse me until I let my dog outside. <laughs> okay when you've placed your last half treble you slip stitch into the next back loop. Once you've slip stitched in you chain it. You then repeat that process again. So in the second chain from the hook, you place a double crochet. The next one will be two half trebles. The next one will be a double crochet, sorry, a treble crochet. The next one will be a double treble. The next one will be a, do, a treble crochet and the last one will be a half treble and then slip stitch in to the next. Now what I want you to do is I want you to work that the whole way around until you have six petals and I'll meet you back there. So at this point you should have six leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what we're going to do is we're now going to work up the other side of the, the petals. So what we did there was we worked up this side to create the little ridges 
of the petals. So now we're going to work up the back of the stitches, kind of like the video that I have for a leaf. Okay, so the way you're going to do this is more or less the same. It's the same sort of stitches. So you're going to go with a treble, a half treble first. So yarn over into that first stitch loop. Now you, there will only be one loop for these stitches because the other loops have already been worked whenever you did the first round of the petals. So yarn over into the hole, pull the yarn through, put the yarn over, take off all three. That's your half treble done. The next stitch will be a normal treble, like so. The next stitch will be a double treble, so you wrap your yarn around twice before you go in. You pull through, take off two, take off two, take off two. The next stitch will be a treble. The next stitch will have two stitches in it and it's two half trebles, one and the second one. The next stitch will have a double crochet. And this one's slightly different because now what I want you to do is slip stitch to the very top of that first stitch, like so. Then I want you to chain three, one, two, three. Then I want you to slip stitch back down into the base. You see where I'm picking those stitches up? Slip stitch there. And that creates a pico stitch, which just creates like a little uh, lip on the end of the flower that'll give it a little bit of point of interest. Once you've that done, you're going to slip stitch all along the petal that you've already made. So the whole way down, so that you can get to the other petal to start working it. So slip stitch the whole way down, right down onto the base, slip stitch there as well. And then working up the other side of the next petal, you start again with the half treble. So in you go with a half treble. We're going to put our treble in the next. Double treble in the next one. Treble in the next. Two half trebles in the next one one double crochet in the next and then slip stitch to the top to begin our pico so one two three slip stitch back down into the base of that stitch and pull through slip stitch the whole way down the other side until you get to the next petal so you're more than welcome to pause the video there until you can get all your stitches done and I'll meet you back around the other side we're just slipping down the last side of the petal so that's us the whole way down and hopefully you should be able to see that your your daffodil has taken some sort of shape so when you've done your last slip stitch you can cut it and then pull it through oh okay so I like to take my ends so that they're all together I pull the two of them together and then I just go in through the back of some of the stitches pull that yarn through and just yarn over and pull through and that just acts as a little anchor. You can leave those ends long to be able to tidy, um, to tie it onto um, whether it's a hat or whatever applique you're going to use it for. I use these as part of my springtime wreath. So what I actually do is I snip that off because I actually hot glue gun my daffodils onto my wreath. Um, I just find that it great, gives it greater stability. So thank you very much for following the video today from Flo's Crafty Crochet. If you liked the video, please feel free to hit the like button and the little bell at the top to subscribe to further content from me. Hopefully I'll be uploading um, a little Easter check to go with this in a few days. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.